Ladies and gentlemen, this is a troubleshooting tutorial for a very specific problem. The problem is when AI doesn't seem to see ADB uh, and thereby your phone, even though we know it's installed. And it's exemplified by the behavior of not being able to connect to your phone that is connected and the ADB can actually see. So, in other words, in App Inventor, when we start the Blocks Editor, Blocks Editor will appear to start. Everything appears to be all rosy and fine and dandy. Now, this is my Java console, you don't have to worry about that one. Uh, but it appears to start. And we click connect to phone, it says, hey, the project editor doesn't have any project information. There's a, some sort of problem. And uh, so we go, okay, we'll troubleshoot this. We'll uh, see if the phone is actually connected. So we're going to go ADB devices. And sure enough, there's my uh, Nexus 1 uh, serial number right there. So I know I've got ADB installed and it's in the right path. Program files x86. The x86 is because I'm on 64 bit. If you're on 32 bit, that will just be program files. Um, so um, now we're really puzzled. Um, we've got a problem we can't resolve. So let's go back here to our document. So that's the behavior. The cause is App Inventor needs a static literal path to the executable, including the executable name. <laughs> Silly dev team. Uh, the user will have entered then, when you were prompted, uh, you will have entered a path without the executable. Uh, for instance here, I had entered program files x86. If you're on 32-bit, you may well have entered just program files, Android, App Inventor Extras, or wherever your App Inventor Extras may have been installed. But what um, App Inventor needed was C program files x86 Android, App Inventor Extras, and the executable name there, adb.exe. Um, and so uh, we have um, so what is our fix our fix is in fact uh, to fake uh, app inventor and to ask us that question again the way we're going to do it is temporarily rename the director launch the blocks editor place the correct executable uh, path in there we don't hit OK then we name the directory back to its correct name and then hit OK on the path request okay let's do that let's see what that looks like so we've got this problem, right? We're going to go back to App Inventor, and um, we are going to uh, first open the path. How would we do that? Well, we need to find out where App Inventor is. For me, that's under my program files. So I'm going to go to Program Files, x86, uh, Android, App Inventor Extras. There's my ADB. So I'm going to back up uh, to the Android level here where it's installed. I'm just going to rename that uh, very briefly. I want to put a 1 and a 2 in there, and, uh, oh, I can't do it, I've got the prompt open. Close that prompt real quick, and then it'll let me do it. Okay, so we've got Android, um, we've renamed that directory, okay? So we're going to go back to App Inventor. So at this point, I've renamed the App Inventor directory. Now I'm going to open the Blocks Editor. I'll get an entirely different behavior. This time, uh, the Blocks Editor is going to complain and go, I don't know where App Inventor's uh, ADB is, and so I can't uh, uh, do this thing, so I need that in there. So we're going to correct the te correct path, including that adb.exe. So for me, that C colon backslash program files, you just need to find out what it is for you. Uh, the exact path, a static literal path. Then I've got backslash, and then I'm in Android. So the path is correct. It's just it doesn't have that static reference in there. So App Inventor, and then Extras, and then backslash, and then I put adb.exe. So that's the static literal path, uh, a literal reference to um, that file for the program. And so I've got, I'm going to double check it here. You yeah, have program files, one space, space between uh, x86 and a backslash, Android, App Inventor, Extras. I look good. So I'm going to say, OK. Oh, OK. We're going to re put that in there. I did exactly what our document said not to do. Remember what our document said we shouldn't do? Um, it says we're going to temporarily rename the directory, launch the blocks editor, place the correct path and executable, and not hit OK. Um, we would first rename that directory back, directory back to its correct name, then hit OK. So now we're going to do that. That's called a good learning experience right there. We figured out what we weren't supposed to do by doing it. So I'm going to retype the path program, program, 
program files. This is going to be unedited, guys. I just want to get this out there uh, until the dev team can get this fixed. And it is on uh, the schedule to be fixed. Um, they have uh, told us they're going to fix it. But until then, we can fix it ourselves. Hey, there's lots of stuff for them to be working on. Okay, so double check my work. C program files, x86, Android, App Inventor, Extra, ADB.exe. Awesome. But now I'm not going to hit OK. Uh, I'm going to go back here where I renamed this directory. Um, and I just put 1, 2 after it. Now I'm going to take that 1, 2 out. So I've named the directory back to its original name. Like our design document said we needed to do. We place the correct path and executable. Don't hit OK. Then we name the directory back to its correct name. Then we're going to hit OK on the path request. So let's go back to that uh, path request. We've renamed the directory back to this correct sequence. We're going to say OK. At that point, uh, app inventor block editor starts and we're going to try to connect to the phone. If everything has gone well, it will have uh, fixed that internal file reference for uh, and then we're connected. We're connected. You, you can see by the need to restart the phone I'm looking at the Nexus One, beautiful little Nexus One, and uh, it's all connected. So there you go, guys. If you have any problem, I'm going to post uh, this document of steps. Actually, I'm going to uh, polish it up a little bit, but I'll have these steps out there uh, in this video, and you can fix this problem on your own. Uh, happy inventing, guys.